check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello everyone! Nandito na tayo sa huling lesson para sa third quarter and this is about parallelism. Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Use Parallel Structures. Let's start! Definition of terms muna tayo. Let's begin with the word parallel. What is parallel? Parallel is an adjective that means being everywhere equidistant. O ibig sabihin, same distance apart at every point. And not intersecting o hindi nagkakasalubong. Ang dalawang linyang ito ay ang eksaktong kahulugan. These are parallel lines. Pero wag kang mag-alala. Hindi math ang pag-aaralan natin. Now, this time, let's define parallelism. What is parallelism? Parallelism in English grammar is also known as parallel structure. It is when phrases in a sentence have similar or the same grammatical structure. In its most basic usage, parallelism provides a phrase with balance and clarity. It also serves to give phrases a pattern and rhythm. It is the repetition of two grammatical form in two or more parts of a sentence. Pamilyar ba kayo dito? Determine which is correct. It is better to give than receiving or it is better to give than to receive. Eto pa, alin ang mas tama? Simple is beauty o simplicity is beauty. The correct answers in these two pairs of sentences are those with parallel structure. So, alin ang may parallel structure at alin nga ba ang mas tama sa mga ito? Balikan natin ito mamaya. Let us try answering the simple exercises. Which word among the following has a different grammatical form? Number one, dig, cook, dance, singing. Alin ang naiba sa mga salitang ito? Tama! Ang sagot ay singing because this is the only word in ing form and the rest are all in the base form of verb. Now, to make singing parallel with the other words, we just have to change its form to make it similar to the others. Tatanggalin lang natin ang ing to change it to its base or basic form or also known as infinitive verb. Kagaya ng ibang words na kasama nito at ito ay magiging sing. So we have dig, cook, dance, sing. Magkakamukha na sila ng form. E paano naman dito sa group of words na ito? Lock. Eight, took, looked, waits, ran. Which word has a different grammatical structure? Tama! The word waits is different because it is the only verb in simple singular form while the rest of the verbs are all in the past form. How can we make it parallel just like the rest of the group of words? Simple lang! Ano ba ang past form ng waits? Tama! Waited. So now, we have locked, ate, took, looked, waited, ran. Ayan! Magkakatulad na sila. Parallel na. Last one for this exercise. Which word is different? Beautiful, simple, intelligent, actively, 
lazy. Alam mo ba kung alin ang naiiba? Tandaan na ang pinag-uusapan natin ay grammatical structure. Tama! The word actively is different because it is an adverb while the rest of the words are adjectives. Upang maging parallel o maging katula din siya ng iba na adjective, dapat ay palitan natin ang word na actively into active. So we have beautiful, simple, intelligent, active, lazy. These are examples of adjectives which are used to describe a noun or a pronoun. This time, from groups of words, i-apply naman natin ito sa sentences. Alin sa mga ito ang may parallel structure? Letter A. I like to jog, bake, paint, and watch movies. Letter B. I like to jog, bake, paint, and watching movies. Letter C. I like jogging, baking, painting, and watching movies. Just take a closer look on each sentence. Observe if there is a pattern or repetition. Let us see if you answer this correctly. Sentence A and C have parallel structure. Why? Just take a look at the word pattern. In letter A, the verbs jog, bake, paint, and watch are all in basic or infinitive form. Kapag sinabing infinitive form, this is a form of a verb that is usually preceded by to, like to jog, to bake, to paint. But it is not always preceded by to. Kaya ang jog ay infinitive na katulad lang din ng salitang to jog. Lahat sila ay verbs in infinitive form. Ibig sabihin, walang kakaiba. May iisang pattern, kaya parallel. Now, sentence C also is parallel because the words jogging, painting, and watching are the same in form. All are in ing form. Parallel. Sentence B is not parallel. Take a look at these words. Jog, bake, paint, and watching. Meron bang naiiba? Which word is different? Tama! Lahat ay infinitive form except from the word watching which is in ing form. So tandaan, when a series is composed of verbs, do not mix forms. For example, mixing an infinitive, a verb beginning with two, with a gerund, a verb form ending in ing, breaks parallel structure. So dapat, lagi silang magkamukha ng form. Let's proceed. Parallel words. On the word level, a noun should be grouped with other nouns an adjective with other adjectives, and so on. Again, take a closer look into these sentences. Letter A. The company is looking for a candidate who is friendly, organized, meticulous, and is going to arrive to work on time. Letter B. The company is looking for a candidate who is friendly, organized, meticulous, and punctual. Sentence A is not parallel. Sentence B is parallel. The words friendly, organized, meticulous are all adjectives because they are used to describe the relative pronoun who, which refers to the noun candidate. Meaning, these three words have the same grammatical structure while is going to arrive to work on time is obviously different because it is a phrase expressing an idea in the near future, not parallel. Whereas, if you are going to replace it with the word punctual, like in sentence B na isa ding adjective at kasing kahulugan ng nabanggit na phrase, magiging parallel na ngayon ang pangungusap 
dahil lahat ng ginamit ay puro na adjectives. Punta naman tayo sa parallel phrases. Remember, parallel structure should be used to balance a series of phrases with the same grammatical structure. For example, avoid mixing noun phrases with verb phrases. Letter A. Initial trials showed that exposure to the chemical caused memory problems, intermittent dizziness, and prevent sleep. Letter B. Initial trials showed that exposure to the chemical caused memory problems, intermittent dizziness, and insomnia. Now, is sentence A parallel? The answer is no. Just look at the underlined words. Memory problems, intermittent dizziness, are both noun phrase, whereas, prevent sleep, start with a verb, kaya verb phrase siya. May isang naiiba, kaya hindi parallel. Samantalang sentence B is parallel because insomnia is a noun. Parallel clauses Parallelism is also applicable to a series of clauses in a sentence. Letter A The report card stated that the student often talked in class, that he bullied other students, and rarely finished his homework. Letter B the report card stated that the student often talked in class, that he bullied other students, and that he rarely finished his homework. Letter B here is parallel because all the underlined clauses start with that, and we call them that clause. While sentence A is not parallel because the clause rarely finished his homework doesn't start with that. Instead, it starts with an adverb, rarely, so we call it adverbial clause. Lists after a colon A list that follows a colon should always have parallel elements. Now, this time, read the given sentences silently and try to find out what makes the sentence on the left not parallel while these sentences on the right are parallel. Not parallel. Mainstream economists have attributed the recession to several key causes. The regulation policies, spike in interest rates, manufacturing orders declining, and the emergence of asset bubbles. Parallel. Mainstream economists have attributed the recession to several key causes. The enactment of the regulation policies, the spike in interest rates, the decline in manufacturing orders, and the emergence of asset bubbles. Mainstream economists have attributed the recession to several key causes. The regulation policies, high interest rates, low manufacturing orders, and asset bubbles. Parallel construction in pairs Use parallel construction when a sentence contains a pair of connected ideas. Pairs can be connected by coordinating conjunctions which include and, nor, but, or, and yet. Not parallel. She planned to collect data by either using an online survey or phone interviews. Parallel. She planned to collect data by either using an online survey or conducting phone interviews. She planned to collect data through either online surveys or phone interviews. From these examples, laging tandaan, kagaya ng minensya na kanina, na iwasang paghaluin ang noun phrases at verb phrases. Dapat, noun phrases lang kung noun phrases at verb phrases lang kung verb phrases, just like what is shown in the given example. Use parallel structure when a pair of ideas are linked by a correlative conjunction, such as 
not only but also, either or, and neither nor. Not parallel. His paper argues that the distinctive divergence in the two artist styles was not only shaped by their mutual rivalry, but also because of the idiosyncratic taste of patrons. Parallel His paper argues that the distinctive divergence in the two artist styles was shaped not only by their mutual rivalry, but also by the idiosyncratic taste of patrons. The same rule applies to pairs connected by a word of comparison such as over, than, or as. Outlines and Headings Headings that divide a paper into sections should be parallel. Likewise, parallel structure should be applied to elements in paper outlines. Those on the left are not parallel because number 3 is a verb phrase and number 4 is an adverbial phrase, while number 1 and 2 are noun phrases, whereas on all items on the right are noun phrases which makes them parallel. Maintaining parallel structure helps you avoid grammatically incorrect sentences and improves your writing style. Although, lack of parallelism is not always strictly incorrect, sentences with parallel structure are easier to read and add a sense of balance to your writing. Balikan natin ang ipinakita nating examples kanina. Determine which is correct. Sa una, it is better to give than receiving or it is better to give than to receive. Next, simple is beauty o simplicity is beauty. Kagaya ng sabi natin kanina, the correct answers in these two pairs of sentences are those with parallel structure. So, alin sa mga ito ang may parallel structure? It is better to give than to receive ang tamang sagot sa unang pair dahil sa gumamit sila ng parehong infinitive verb na to give and to receive. In the next pair, the correct answer is simplicity is beauty. Bakit? Because the word simplicity is a noun, same with the word beauty. Pwede rin namang gawin siyang ganito. Simple is beautiful. This is also parallel because both simple and beautiful are adjectives. Again, to achieve parallelism, there must be the same grammatical structure among the elements in your sentences. Simple uses of parallelism create readable and understandable passages. Sentences are best understood when structured in a grammatically parallel fashion. Mapapansin nyo din na ginagamit ang parallelism sa mga songs, poems, speeches, at iba pa dahil mas nagiging catchy ang tunog kapag may repetition at nagkakaroon ng rhythm kaya naman mas memorable o madaling tandaan. Binibigyan din ito ng impact ang mga pinaka-importanteng mga salita. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!